everybody, Coach Josh here. Had a question from a man, Jesse, today. And uh, he was wondering how early or how soon can a, a kid uh, get started in CrossFit? And uh, I think I get this question a lot. Um, first and foremost, not only just CrossFit, but just in exercise in general. And I think the, the old thought that, you know, early strength training stunts your growth, or I, I think some of that's starting to kind of be less and less uh, consistent, a, a less and less consistent message. Um, and I've, I've gotten this question a ton of times. I think I could go back, um, my dad probably, uh, who also is a fitness professional, probably says it best too. Uh, these kids are already doing active things. They're already exercising. Uh, they're already lifting weights. If you've ever picked up your little one's backpack going to school, um, I mean, they're already carrying loads. Um, and I think as a dad, I think the biggest thing that I notice is as, as athletic as my son may seem, his movement quality is not always the greatest and he's already nine so he's already developing poor habits he's already uh, losing flexibility in certain areas um, so I would say that you know it's really it's really never too early to start some sort of exercise plan for your little ones uh, I think that's why CrossFit kids is so popular um, although we don't run a program ourselves there's a lot of gyms out there that have successful uh, CrossFit Kids programs. What I will say is, uh, those programs usually early on start with very fundamental body weight exercises, and then slowly progress into load bearing activities. Um, and again, I, I don't think there's ever it's ever too early to to begin to teach children how to move better. Um, you know, teaching them how to squat uh, effectively we're building repetitions on their nervous system that they will carry through the rest of their life um, rather than a child learning how to finally squat properly at, at 20 years old or 22 years old because they finally decided to get active. So my answer uh, in short would be uh, it's probably never too early to start minus the ability uh, for that child to comprehend instruction. So. Um, I've worked with as little a groups as eight and nine year olds and that does get tough. It takes a, uh, a special personality to be able to handle those children. Um, I'm probably not the person that could do it day in and day out. Uh, but uh, I, I would say as, as soon as a child can begin to understand uh, instruction on movement, uh, I don't think it's ever, I, I think that's about the time that, that we would want to begin to instruct them on movement. So. Um, Hopefully that answer helps. Uh, I will say that just as I end, that doesn't mean that you should be loading up your four-year-old with a 35-pound kettlebell and have them deadlift. Like I said, I think body weight, fundamental body weight uh, exercise initially to learn how to move their own body well is very important and will build the base for uh, understanding athletic movement further on in their life. And if all that is, is that they never become an athlete in, a, in an organized sport, but they know how to move their body well to be able to exercise effectively, and we can minimize the, uh, the damages of childhood obesity that's, that's just haunting our nation right now, um, I, think, I think absolutely get them involved in something. Uh, and if it were my suggestions, I would should suggest uh, some sort of gymnastics-based uh, program. Um, even as early as you know three to four years old if you can get them doing body weight gymnastics um, I think that would be awesome that's one thing I, I wish that uh, I would have kept up with I did it when I was about five or six and uh, never continued on because I thought boys don't do gymnastics so anyways um, hope that helps Jesse uh, if you guys have any more questions pertaining to this topic feel free to post to the comments and Jesse, thanks for giving us a topic to talk about. See you guys.